Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makata Man at YouTube coming back with a new video after a bit of an unscheduled break. The third time in my entire career that spans approximately one month. And the reason for that is a lot of the cameras, equipment, the laptop, the software I've been using has been exactly the same. Besides upgrading the microphone since 2009 when I started out, I got set in a way of making videos as easy as quick as possible so I could get more into making models, testing products, all that sort of thing. Never wanted to be a saga of a six to seven hour video edit. Unfortunately, as the equipment aged and the software update started to crash and cause problems, I kept applying band-aid upon band-aid on top of each other. And unfortunately, later on, the codecs that came from the camera, the video files, were not working in the editing software and required a converter. Once that asked for payment and the whole thing just collapsed in itself, the laptop that was only used for video editing was just no good at all and I had to update to pretty much the latest standards. In the past month, almost, of uh, exploring, fixing, downloading and experimenting, I finally have a new package of uh, software and editing form that can meet my needs of a quick edit and quickly putting videos up on YouTube in about a rate of uh, a week to once a fortnight. We'll talk about the rate in a minute. So we're definitely back with a vengeance and in 1080p I think. Not too sure, still got a bit more fiddling around with that. But it's never my intention to be offline even though there is a very big change coming to this channel. Second thing, and this is the biggest downer, at the same time that all of this is going down, in the past couple of months I had to change my working conditions. I was a contractor and a freelancer within my industry and worked around where work could possibly be got and tried to keep my hours as low as possible while financially supporting myself and indulging in my hobbies. Unfortunately I was led into a situation where my main uh, source of income had to become full time in the most crucial part of the injection molding project and building up the salt mines and I had to take a bit of a step from that. Due to the amount of time I have to put into this full-time job, this is also going to let the channel to suffer a bit and may have to readjust the schedule from videos once a week to once a fortnight. A bit of news and updates for this vlog is this studio is finally moving. Now, I've uh, moved away from home well after I was uh, 18 and have done things such as uh, live near campus for uh, training as well as rent and share homes but I've always been able to come to my parents home on the weekend to do a little modeling editing even though I did a lot of modeling on the road and the studio that you do see around me is my mother's studio and I do have a uh, corner opposite from the front door and a bit of uh, bench space. My mother used to be a very talented professional artist before she had to move to teaching for a more sustainable income and switches in between the two at her leisure as to not burn out from the passion of creating art, sculptures, painting, that sort of thing. Extremely talented and throughout the years in the background of the video you'd have seen uh, sculptural heads and all sorts of uh, bits and pieces. Talent wise I do wish to uh, step out of her shadow at some point but I definitely have my own uh, platform and it's uh, fully supportive. There's a lot of great tools to share here but alas eventually even in the studio sense this also has to move out and finally after uh, saving and working things out I have bought a property and the intention of this property is also to be my own private studio and business once I take the huge plunge of going part-time professional in kit manufacturing and design. Not as a scale modeler, that will always remain as a hobby. 
the idea of the property that I've bought and is being renovated to this point which does uh, question why there is a bit of a debt over my head is the building of a large garage studio shop front. The property is situated on a major busy road across from a shopping complex and school that is very easy to gain access to uh, for those living in Melbourne. So everyone local, good news, there is a new hobby shop with a different twist that's opening up for the rest of the internet this is something that will be interesting to uh, vlog and more resources and more time to develop videos which also goes into a pseudo, uh, pseudo marketing tool but the most important thing is I've always kept the business aspect and the hobby aspect absolutely separated as I will be designing releasing selling model kits it will never be pushed too heavily on the Makata man that will always be about my builds tutorials and I will touch on the really fun things of how I'm designing injection molding 3d printing these kits and the events I go to and all that fun stuff the salt mines will always be the point where sales will be pushed as some sort of semi sustainable thing I have had friends and made friends with many people in the hobby industry across Melbourne and the rest of the world and have seen the danger signs of going absolute full-time professional and burning out from doing commissions or running a hobby shop during the highs and lows. The intention to stay part-time or a contractor in my initial industry is at least to pay the bills and remain very comfortable in some sort of life set of mixing the two together. With the studio, which I have completely designed out, will be a large workbench that will have a suspendable uh, camera rig and a far superior lighting setup than I do have in this uh, thing that I've tacked together since I was a kid. And it will be fully visitable during visitable business hours for purchasing of uh, manufactured kits or having a look, even just hanging out and having a bit of a chat or a social outlet business after all so this is going to be very exciting and something uh, very different that we've got some sort of hobby thing turning into an actual store front very very exciting uh, can't wait until I can actually present that as a grand opening video for you all I've been sitting on this for many many years but didn't want to uh, announce this fully until the steps were so close I'm just about to achieve it I'm looking at a goal of about 12 months until I start doing the final touches before the opening, so much after the 2020 Model Expo. Talking about Model Expo, I've just come back for that. The intention was to have an earlier vlog and talk about it, advertise it. Did not have the ability to make videos, but we definitely do now. It was a fantastic experiment experience. I went as a trader for the three days again with the salt mines far more prepared in an actual decent array of stock. It was very well received and business wise I did very well but uh, personally after a lot of pressures of uh, job changing and other dramas it was absolutely refreshing to take a bit of time off see many people I haven't seen in 12 months as well as meet new people. Did a presentation on 3D printing, more aspects of how to get access to it and commissioning people, printers or just getting a piece of work to work on and incorporating your models rather than the specs and how to do it yourself. That was filmed. I'm not too sure about the uh, quality. It is a bit awkward but it might be able to be edited and re-presented here. I will have a play with that ran a vlog of setting up the store, running it, interacting with people and closing it down as well as the typical review of taking a bunch of photos of models that I really like and talk about the experience of attending the show as an attendee and an entrant. The photos of the expo is on Facebook and Pinterest in the gallery marked as such. I will definitely put a link down below. The last public appearance I am making this year will be at the Animanga Anime Convention at the Royal Melbourne Exhibition, the 24th to 25th of August. The Animanga owner and committee has asked me again to run this workshop, uh, competition and display. 
This time I've decided to sponsor it directly as the salt mines with giveaway kits for people to build a couple of prizes. The competition is very simple and more of a way to uh, promote and support people wanting to enter competitions and showing off their models and it's just a gathering of uh, many modelers who may have not met other modelers as friends and share a bit of an interest. It's uh, very very casual and a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. I have a lot of uh, influence and people attending including the Mush and Krieger Australian community and invite to some wargaming uh, groups that do a lot of mecha inspired games and Gundam Club Australia as well as other local modelers to show their uh, wares, builds and knowledge to people that are newer and younger. Absolutely fantastic event, it will be a long fun weekend. Now with 3D printing, uh, the focus before the, chan the channel kind of dropped off and will pick up is the SLA Spark Maker UV Reactive 3D printer. Still working very hard in that, that as it is an important aspect of the injection molding program of making molds. There is a heat resistant uh, resin that is soon to hit the market and has had good reviews so far. I've also sourced a locally sourced manufacturer of resin for making molds as well as models to sell. I should have uh, some prototypes coming soon. I know it's way over date to what I announced last year, but things change and I came across a bunch of hurdles as well as learning curves that I had to overcome before I took the new next step and not knowing that it was an issue at all. There is a lot to learn. There's going to be a few videos about the maintenance, changing parts and the tuning of this uh, 3D printer which will be all the information required to owning and running it for people that are looking into getting resin garage kits of their own CAD drawn design. So that's very exciting as well as soon getting a hold of a mold and running some plastic into that. I'm gonna take my time with that as the first uh, thing I put out I want to be of a decent quality but it has not stalled. I'm just learning every component that's required to reach the end goal and then push that technology to make some very very cool things to put out on the market. So it's definitely a space to watch that. It will be documented. I just don't want to have an oversaturation of videos of a few minutes of tiny updates rather than longer, well edited, well thought out um, sagas. The last bit of information for this uh, vlog is a promise I made many, many years ago. That is a new series of tutorials utilizing one kit and covering it from the build, the seam line removal to the paint. I did not want to touch this uh, new tutorial series until I went full HD. We are here now, I think, until it's uploaded. Once we're in the new studio space, that is going to be one of the priorities. But uh, it's still on the back burner of something that's far more streamlined than what I do have on the channel existing, which some of it is a bit outdated, but still very relevant. Most information is more revolved around 3D printing or especially airbrushing. The interesting part about airbrushing is when I was at uh, Model Expo, I had quite a few people that only watched a few videos that helped them out going, I recognize your voice, you're that channel I watched a few videos of that helped me out and other people that uh, outright recognize me. So there's about 10 taps on the shoulder and uh, it was very cool. I'm always up to meeting people wherever I am. So absolute uh, pleasure to bump into you and have a bit of a chat. I'm very glad my content uh, does um, make an impact and help people out and change their hobbies. That is uh, the most important thing, especially if you're going very far and pushing yourself into great lengths, even surpassing the original content. So that is all very, very cool. That covers almost absolutely everything I need to talk to. If you're looking for someone making garage kits, K-scale models, a long-time follower of the channel is doing some wonderful things. And if you want to see a new series of tutorials, my friend Tristan from Plastic Oddities has been working on a series like that. His uh, style is something I'm a big fan of, I appreciate, and I also subscribe to. So that would be a really good stint until I get to something like that. I'm much 
rather play the long game. Let's take steps slowly. I have no intentions of stopping making videos anytime soon. There will be a break. There will be other gaps in content creating and putting videos out. So I'm not too sure how things are going to go. But at least I want fortnightly videos, if not weekly videos. But we'll take it as it comes with all these big changes. <coughs> In the end, it'll all be for the better. And it's just going to be interesting change content out there. And finally, a bit of a note about the salt mines. Many people in the industry, as well as uh, people observing, ask me, what is the business goal of the salt mines? What is it? How can you describe it? Normally, when you describe a business, it has a very clear goal, market, whatnot. For this case, it is a bit unusual and is very ambiguous. It is a hobby shop, but it's not quite a hobby shop. It's a studio, but not quite. It's something that uh, I envision I want if I was a customer. That was the same vision I used to build this channel, which has had quite a bit of success. And I think the Salt Mines is, to summarize it the best, what the hobby shop should look like in the future. Instead of stocking kits on the shelf, it can also inquire and build up licenses and produce kits on the spot for people to pick up and consume. That's a little something to think about, but being an experimental ground, but not fully relying off it for a living, is going to be an excellent hotbed to observe from the outside world. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for hearing all of this out. There is a thousand things that are going on at once, but it's all going very well. It is all very exciting, and I'm just having as much fun taking all these steps as I bet you guys are observing. And I hope to interact with you all a lot more. And we will probably definitely bump into each other once I engage in the industry more. Thank you very much for watching as always. Until next time, stay tuned for further content. And we will catch you guys later. Peace out.